Good morning, guys. Good morning. How you doing? It is the most gross, rainy, horrible, dull, grey, boring day today. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to have a good day. We do not let the weather affect our day. We just have good times indoors <laughs> instead of outdoors. Kicked off this morning with a, a gym workout. Although I was super cautious about how much I was working out and I didn't want to push it too hard because I've had planned to go this rock climbing this morning, which is literally where I am now. Just parked up a minute ago and I'm about to go rock climbing with my friend Zach, who I believe is already here. So we should, we should probably get going. Two workouts in one morning, guys. Roll to Brighton, you already know. Got myself a little veggie sausage roll. A little latte. Yours look way better than mine. What do you mean? Look at them, they're Velcro. You're already winning. Well, I've got bloody laces. All of the grips on this one are like so big. They're not like nice little handles, it's like big chunks to grip onto. And then you've also got the green triangles that if you fall, you just feel like you're just gonna hit into the corners. Get that leg up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Genius idea. Zach's gonna do a headstand, I'm gonna dive through his legs. And then I'll probably follow me out. Okay. We have not practiced this. Yeah, that was lit. <laughs> Thumbs up if you think that was lit, AF. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to have this thing called a flip which would really jump up and the hands back. Right, let me just start back a bit first. Alright, I won't film. Mm. How? I think that was the first time I've ever been rock climbing where I haven't ripped my hands. But my hands feel good. And I don't know if that means that I didn't climb hard enough. And I didn't try hard enough. Or whether that means that my hands are getting stronger. Hopefully it means my hands are getting stronger. I've literally been looking for this. If you saw my vlog a couple of days ago, I bought a new card game called something like We've All Got Crabs or You've Got Crabs or something. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. Um, but it looks really good. I bought it and I vlogged about it. When I was in the shop looking at the card games, uh, there was a woman who was buying a book, like a comic book from the shop. And the book was three pounds. She tried to pay on her card, but they had a minimum card spend of five pounds. So she couldn't buy it on card. She was like, don't worry, I've got cash. Went all through her purse and was like, I don't have any cash. And I wasn't like listening into the conversation because I mean, she was just buying a book, but I overheard the conversation. She said, oh, okay, is there any way you can, you can do card payment for three pounds? They're like, really sorry, we just can't do that. So she said, okay, don't worry, I'll put the book back. Unfortunately, I, I can't buy it, I don't have any cash. She went to walk out and I was like, oh, excuse me, I've got, I've got three pounds in my pocket. I'm happy to buy you the book. She was like, no, no, don't worry, don't, don't be silly. Like, don't worry about it, I don't want you buying my book. And I was like, no, honestly, let me buy your book for you and just return the favor, do something nice for somebody else. And she, and she was like, Okay, well I can't really say no now, otherwise that's being rude to you because you've offered to buy me the book and you're happy to buy me the book. 
and you want to buy me the book because then I'm going to do something nice to somebody else. So I got my £3 out. I bought her the book. She was incredibly thankful. It turns out that it was a book that she was buying for somebody for Christmas. So she was like, not only have you now saved, like, you've made their Christmas present possible, but also this is such a nicer story that I can tell this person when I give them the book. She promised me that she would do something nice for somebody else in return. That's all I wanted. Like, I don't want the money back. I just said, just next time you see somebody else who needs help or needs something, help them out in return. And just as she was about to leave the shop, she turned around and she said, oh, one minute. She opened her purse and she said, can I give you this? And she gave me this little finger puppet. And I didn't want to say no because she wanted to give me the finger puppet so I said of course and she said don't worry I'm still going to do something nice for somebody else like you asked me to however I just want you to have this as a thank you and she gave me this little finger puppet I don't really know what to do with it I was also trying to explain that story to Zoe but I couldn't find the finger puppet because I didn't I, it must have been in this hoodie pocket and I didn't have this hoodie on and I was trying to explain like I've got this finger puppet from this woman who I bought a book and it was that, that was a bit crazy so I've now got this that I don't really know what to do with. I feel like I might give it to like a family friend's child or something like that. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Just finished up rock climbing. I'm gonna go get some brunch now. It's kind of not lunch time, but it's not breakfast time. I mean, I've already had a bowl of cereal, but I've worked out twice today already and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go get some lunch, maybe even another coffee as well. Let me put on some good music and let's get going. Every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Bob is in a pub and she just FaceTimed me with a random pub dog. Are you going to steal it? <laughs> what the heck? Bye. What, is that literally why you just called me? Where even are you? He's called Jake. Are you like drunk right now yes. <laughs> she literally just called me I answered it and there was a dog that she was like playing with its face and then she just pans up and's like I'm in a pub and I was like yeah she's like I've got a dog and that's it right now I really do need to get going I've also got my reusable coffee cup from the exact place I'm going to I literally jinxed this on myself. I said to Zoe the other day, has a car ever parked so close to you? Because obviously she's been driving a lot longer than me, front and back, that you can't get out of a space. And she's like, no, that's never happened to me. And then this car comes along and has parked so close to me that I literally like, that's the other camera behind me. I'm basically touching the car behind me and I'm basically now touching the car, even though there's a massive gap in front of those two. This car has popped so close to me that I'm like, I've, ju I've just moved back and forth as much as I can, like six times. It's like, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get out, even if I do this like 50 times. I, I haven't even moved yet and everything is already beeping. Ugh. No. No, <laughs> stop. Come on. Let me out. Eesh. This is literally the lunch of dreams. The only thing is it's basically a loaf of bread, which is why it's the lunch of dreams. Chicken, cheese, and chorizo in a loaf of bread. It is so much later than the last clip in my vlog. In fact, I don't even remember what the last, the last clip in my vlog was. All I know is I've been editing the new Vlogmas video and sorting out the new secrets out video for the past like four hours probably i'm heading into town now to grab some sushi with two friends of mine just pulled my car over there's this young girl i say young she was probably like my age like shouting and then these two guys who are probably both my age as well like shouting at her and she was trying to cross this road and then one of them ran out in the road and grabbed her and pulled her back. I don't know if it was like friends messing about, being like, no, don't leave, come on, come, come out on a Friday night or something like that. Or whether it was a young girl that wasn't okay and was trying to get away from two guys. And then they've like creepily grabbed her and like, I don't know. 
So I just pulled my car over and want to make sure that she's okay. But I can't see them. They were literally walking along here like two minutes ago and I've just put, literally pulled my car over to make sure that she's okay. I'm sure they were just friends messing about. Like she didn't, she wasn't like, she didn't look scared. But I just don't like the fact that there was two boys and like one of them grabbed the girl. But I just want to make sure she's okay. I don't, I don't want to have a fight. I just want to make sure that she's okay. I can't see her. I'm going to drive back along. I'm going to drive back along to where I saw them. Just to make sure that she's okay. If they're still there. I should have got one of the muffly things on my camera. You probably can't hear me. Zach and Lottie have persuaded me. Well, they, they tricked me. You lured me in with the, oh, let's go get sushi for dinner. I'm like, of course. It's an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet. I'm like, when do I leave the house? I'm coming. Oh, by the way, just to get there, we have to do a 52-mile cycle. Yeah, but on the most... I got tricked in. Game. So we're going to get these bikes. You have this one, and the brakes are good, the wheels are No, good. that means it's rubbish. No, you can have that guy. Right. I'm going to have this one. Oh, look. If you hit it, the bell goes. Yeah, so you bounce to bring the bell. Yeah. Move out of my way. Get out of my way. Look, see? That one don't do it. Get out of my way. You probably can't hear me. It is so Guys, we're currently playing Old Maid. Have a quick little clip. Here's some of our food. Second portion. And done. <laughs> Right, we're just walking back. I didn't really film much of the dinner. <laughs> I filmed little bits. The sea is possibly the craziest I've ever seen it in Brighton. And Lottie wants to go down and stand on the edge of here, which is going to be safe. Like it's super, like it's completely safe. It's just going to get us absolutely soaked. And you saw how we got here. We cycled here. I've got a waterproof coat on, so I'm all good. You guys are going to be, you've literally got tights on. I'm as zipped up and covered up. Oh no, I don't want to get the shoes wet, guys. I might drop my camera. Oh my gosh, I feel like this might not be a good idea. This is so much better because it's not windy now. This time it's like actually enjoyable because there's not just a savage wind in my face. I got it. <laughs> got him. Go. See you at the marina, guys. <laughs> Looking for a razor to cut my hair. Right. Do you want to yeah, clippers. some clippers. Thank you. Here, here we go. This is what we need. Number three. That's a big one. Oh, we don't need number three. I think we need number one. That's not going to take much of I think we need number one. Yeah, one. Honestly, not Okay, we'll do three and then we can go up and up and up and go down and down. I think you should let go. <laughs> so Zach needs a haircut and we've decided that at whatever the time is now, 11 o'clock at night at the marina, we've just bought a head trimmer. Is it legit or really? And we're going to give him a haircut whilst he's in a trolley. Do you want to do first cut? Do you trust me? Yeah. I don't have to turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need way... 
No. Okay. Yeah, you need number two at least. Number two. Let me change it. Look. Oh. I'm so nervous for number two. Trust me, we need number two. That's Num a one. No, this is number two. Show me it. Show me it. So number one. Just write the one and fade it, fade it. Go all the way, just send it. No, don't. No, don't. Have you done it? <laughs> I told you one was too short, didn't I? <laughs> I, I, mean, I know what I'm doing. It's one too short. That's horrible. Excuse me, would you like to have a go at cutting my friend's hair? No, oh, no, no. oh, how you doing? You good? Yeah, good nice to meet you, man. You? Nice to see you guys. Yeah. Do you want to cut my friend's hair? No, you can't. Have a go. <laughs> you can have a go. You can have a go cut him. Oh my god. Wait, let me see what he did. <laughs> Jack. Oh, I'm going to Jack, it doesn't. How bad is it? It doesn't, it doesn't even look bad. Wait, let me take a picture. Let me take a picture. <laughs> 